Hey yeah, guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily install Mice Car Mods. Now just before we get started, I want to give uh, 159 Down Studios a shout out for requesting this video. If you don't know why I give people uh, shout outs for requesting them, it's just a new thing I'm doing now. So if you request a video and I end up doing it, then you'll get a shout out. So first things first, you want to find your Mice and Car directory. If you have the Steam one, uh, you want to go onto your local PC or local disk. So you can do this in many ways, but I'm just going to type in local disk on search bar and then type in local disk here. Now once you're on this part, go on to your program files 86, go down to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go on to Common, go on to My Summer Car, there's your directory. That's if you bought it through Steam, if you pirated it, then it should be on your directory. So, um. When you're in this folder, you don't um, technically need it yet. This is when you're doing the plugins, which is the actual mods. So save that for later. So open your MSC loader. All right, this is the version four. There will be a version three in the description. They'll look very similar. Okay. Open the MSC patcher. <clears throat> now, um, this is both for version three and version four. Select the M's. Um, MSC game folder and then select this at the top the um, MSC folder and then go through that directory until you find uh, my summer car application open that <coughs> then it should say not installed or patched or however you did it if you've already got it in and it's broken just remove it and then install it now you gotta listen to me when I say this otherwise this will not work if you're using the version 3, you're finished with it, okay? You're finished installing the mod loader, not the mods, the mod loader. If you're using the version 4, but you have a 32 gigabyte, not 32 gigabyte, 32 bit system, you're done. If you have a 64 bit system, when you're using the version 4, then you want to be on here and install it, okay? I won't let me remove it, but you have to install the 64-bit patch, okay? That's if you've got a 64-bit system. If you're if you're using the version 4 uh, mod loader and you have a 32-bit, it wouldn't matter. If you're using the version 3 mod loader, it wouldn't matter regardless what bit you have. You could have 6-bit and it doesn't matter. Um, right, now let's get rid of that. And you're pretty much done with the mod loader, so you can bin that wherever you want to put it. Now, it's these five files that you want. Now, the MS Tuner is the main one. The Easy Hooks one, not, it was there, actually not the one. So, that's not actually a mod, but it is needed, okay? If you're using the gun, it's needed. Now, I'll show you how to install all of these. These three are incredibly easy to install. Okay, now do you remember that directory I showed you earlier want to get? Well, you want to open that back up. And you want to open it into window, not full screen. Now, since it's windowed, you want to move it out the way so you have these files. I'm just going to move these there. Now, since you've got it like this, open your mods folder and you should have an assets folder. You don't want to be playing around in here, so you want to leave that alone. Except when you're doing the gun, okay? So, to install these, open your MS Tuner. Or tuna, or whatever you want to say. Tuna, tuna. I don't really give a crap. Now there's this one file, ms tuna.dll. Transfer it. That's that mod installed. Same with the grab anything mod. Grab anything up dll. Drag and drop. I'll show you how to use these in game as well. So get rid of that. Now you go into the teleport one. The teleport one looks a bit more wacky. I don't know why it has all these files, uh, but you just go in the mods and then you transfer the teleport plugin dot dll. Now that's those three installed. Now the gun, you want to open the uh, folder and transfer the gun nineteen eleven cult dot dll, and then you want to open the assets folder both in the game directory and the winrar and transfer the gun1911 cult folder from the winrar to the game directory assets folder not the game directory just the game folder now you can close the uh, winrar file and then open the easy hooks you need the easy hooks for the weapon mod only and I'm going to repeat that again for the cult 
1911 gun mod, you will need the Easy Hooks API mod, which is this. It like loads it or do something with it. I've, I'm not going to sit here and explain it. But you want to open the assets folder uh, in both of them again, and then yeah, so do it in the game folder and in the WinRAR folder. Now that that's done, go back into where you got the DLLs and then just transfer the Easy Hooks API.dll. Now that is your mods installed, and now I'm going to show you how to use them and what they're going to look like in game. Right, guys, when you launch this game, you should see at the top that it says uh, mod loader, MSC loader uh, is ready. It also will say up to date if you're connected to the internet, which you pretty much should be. It'll also say where your mods folder is, so if you ever forget, yeah, you see it on the main menu, which is quite good. Now, I'm just going to wait for my game to load. Now, man will be a bit laggy because I'm screen recording at the same time. Oh! Right, that's something new. And like that. Okay, right. So, if you press, I think it's Control and M. Yeah, there we go. It shows you all of your mods. Now, if I get rid of that, your gun will usually respawn here into this bedroom. But I've moved mine, so mine is actually mine's actually here. This is what the gun's like. Uh, there we go. And you can just aim and as to reload, and you have to buy bullets of TMOs, and you can. It's very laggy. Okay, and then you can just yeah. So that's basically the gun. But grab anything. Control and P to open its menu and uh, Control and M. No, not Control and M. It's Alt and P to turn it off and on. Now you'll know if it works because you can pretty much pick anything up, as you can see. That was close. Wow, okay. Now. The MS Tuner one, basically, you just program pause menu and it's there. It's just basically here. And the police are out today, and I've been looking for them for ages now. If I go off the game, I won't get them, so it's going to be brilliant. So thanks for watching, guys. That's your mods.